There is a new Pro Controller on the market, and this is unsurprising for the Nintendo Switch because they always get Pro Controllers and controllers in general, like all of the time. So what makes this one different? What made me want to review it and actually talk about it? Well, there are going to be some things here that got my attention. So introducing the Bimbok Ultra Pro Controller. Let's go ahead and dive right in. The exterior design consists of soft touch material for the gray portions of this shell, while the black portions are comprised of this rubbery grip that feels very nice. This controller does feel pretty great overall to touch. This controller does honestly have a lot of really cool features that I like to talk about, but it is not a perfect controller, because at this price tag, you are still making concessions. So we can go ahead and focus on the good stuff for now, where we are looking at a controller that feels great to the touch, nicely weighed so it feels like a nice controller too because of that. On the front, you will get your usual set of buttons with the Nintendo layout to work with. You also get a home button in the middle that wakes your switch. On the top, you will find your six shoulder buttons with two of them being remappable. On the back, you're going to find the battery compartment, two additional buttons, three switches with one of them being a no dead zone mode, another one that triggers analog trigger settings instead of it registering a digital input since these are analog triggers as well, and another one that activates six axis assistive functionality. You also get three buttons for controlling the rumble sensitivity, turbo mode for those who like turbo functionality, and the like. On the bottom, you will get a switch for going between different systems and you will get the pairing button too. So this controller has a lot of features that I'd like to discuss a little bit further. So let's get right into that. You will get mechanical switches for the face buttons, the d-pad, the remappable buttons on the top and the back, which is really awesome because they are really responsive and feel very nice to press without a doubt. Now the thumbsticks are detachable and hot swappable so you can swap the sticks for longer ones, your usual ones with that pattern that you will see in the promotional content and the nub. I definitely prefer the longer ones. It comes with Bluetooth support but it also comes with a Bluetooth receiver if you prefer to use that and you can use it wired as well. You can also wake your switch with it which is awesome and something that I did mention earlier. There are some of the pro features that a lot of us look forward to when it comes to shopping for controllers, even more so than Nintendo's own first party controller. So I actually really like it. As for the gaming performance, I find myself really happy with this controller because it most certainly fulfills all of my needs. With something like an FPS, you will notice a lot of improvements because of the features that they've catered to people who play a lot of games like this. Although most people won't be playing first person shooters on the Switch, but since you can use this controller on Android, iOS, Windows, SteamOS, and the like, you will be able to play tons of games with this controller. Now with that said, I don't really play FPS games on the Switch and mainly just focus on at JRPGs that I enjoy, such as Xenoblade Chronicles 3. The buttons are super responsive and I find that the thumbsticks also go a long way as they are just more comfortable to use. I tend to prefer taller sticks in general, so I really like having the option available to me. Do you need a controller like this for games like this at all? Absolutely not. But it is really nice to have, and considering the price point of roughly $55, you might as well get this controller if you're shopping around for Switch controllers because it is one of the best ones out there. And I've tested a lot of controllers to be able to form that opinion. I think this one is really good. Battery life is actually really good with this controller as well, as you can expect around 10 to 12 hours of battery life, which for me is probably the same as roughly 10 days worth of playtime because I get about one hour of playtime per day when I'm not reviewing something like this, so that's really worth knowing. Now let's talk about some of the stuff that could have been better here. So these are my complaints, generally speaking. There are no Hall Effect sticks here, which does suck because we've been seeing that more with other manufacturers already too, and it is, it does feel like a pro feature that has been left out of this pro controller. I haven't noticed any drifting though, so take that for what you will. The D-pad does feel a little bit cheap and I actually don't really like it. It just doesn't feel very precise and I would have liked a more traditional style D-pad here instead of this concoction, which is clickier. I will say that while I love the mechanical switches on this controller, I do not like how the buttons themselves feel. They feel kind of cheap and I am not fond of the texture because it just feels like a gritty plastic that doesn't belong on face buttons. I would generally pay more to get these things revised on this controller because this one was close to being one of my favorites, if not my favorite. But with that said, I still really like this controller. And if anything, my issues are more like nitpicks than they are actual issues with this controller. 
Now this isn't my favorite Switch Pro Controller, however, because that would probably go to the 8-Bit Do Ultimate, since that one does have hall sensors. But what makes this one special compared to other offerings? Well, the plethora of options and features that I won't be taking advantage of because of the games I play personally. The amazing rubber grips that feel really good to use along with the nice weight to this controller. The triggers, the shoulder buttons, and more. I also make this controller one of the top contenders for 2023 and of course still for 2024. So yeah, strongly recommend it at this as this controller is one of the best ones out there for the Switch specifically, and it does sell at a great value price. So thank you so much for watching this video all the way up until the very end. I do really appreciate it. Please make sure to use my affiliate link down below as well for this controller, because if you use our affiliate link, then you'll be helping out the channel quite a bit, which helps us get more review units for this channel. So thank you so much. And also, I'd like to make a note that we're going to be uploading fairly frequently. There's actually a review going up of a monitor coming up pretty soon, and there are some other handouts that I would like to test out on this channel too, such as the Iron Loki, Loki Zero, handouts like that. But with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching, and until next time, have a good one and enjoy.